Hello and welcome back to MRCPCS team. Today's topic is tall stretcher in children. The causes for tall stretcher in children. Guys, before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel that is All or None Law. Um, in our channel, you can find different playlists like Neonatology, Infection, Metabolic Disorder, Immunology, Respiratory System, GI System. Um, plenty of symptoms we have uh, we are covering so just go to our channel click once each and every topic in that playlist will be played automatically so it's gonna save your time and you will do best in your coming examination okay guys let me start with this tall stature if the child's growth is more than a 95 or 90 percentile is considered to be child's uh, tall stature okay this is not at one point you need to measure for a two or three points okay uh, so these are the causes what you need to remember just make it down write it down uh, if you want um, okay uh, recently I uploaded a video on Soto syndrome The Klein Pinter syndrome you should remember, Soto syndrome you should remember, Marfan syndrome, homocystinuria, fragile X is very important. Uh, recently I uploaded a video on the fragile X syndrome. That's very important. The most common cause for a toss stretcher is a constitutional toss stretcher. That's very important. McCune Albright syndrome. I recently uploaded a video on that. You just go through type McCune Albright syndrome by Emma CPCH team. Okay guys go ahead read well do well in your upcoming examination okay guys thank you so much for watching my video take care see you soon in the next amazing awesome video with me on mrcpch